And new tonight, the Florida officials, they want to roll your driver's license, your car insurance, your health insurance, your voter registration, all of that into one easy to carry card. Could be seen as a convenience or a major political controversy depending on where you stand on the issue. Elizabeth Alvarez is in our studio tonight. All new tonight at 10. Liz. Hey, Bob. Yeah, you know, on one hand, it sounds efficient, right? After all, it can be a pain carrying around so many of these cards. I have three, let alone just right here. But not all Floridians are keen to the idea of having this universal ID card. The State Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles is looking at ways to become more efficient. One idea is to create a universal ID card for Floridians. It involves combining your driver's license with some of your other vital information. Medicaid, insurance providers, whether it's auto, home, or health, voter registration, or even public assistance. A spokesperson with the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles in Tallahassee tells me over the phone the idea comes on the heels of Governor Rick Scott wanting each department to reduce costs. So I asked, how is this a cost cutting idea? Well, it it might not be a cost cutting. It might be more about um, reduce. I think it'd be more about reducing duplication. It's all about efficiencies and creating additional conveniences for the customers. Sherry Goldman likes the sound of that. I think it is a good idea. I really do. With all that information on there, I think it could be useful. She admits it's a pain for her to have to carry around so many ID cards. Um, yeah, <laughs> I actually do. But this Floridian is not convinced. I don't want all one card. I, I, I don't know. I think it's too much government intrusion. The department is in the very early stages of exploring this idea. It expects to have recommendations ready by next June. So again, not a done deal here. We'll keep you posted, though. Live in the studio tonight, Elizabeth Alvarez, is Fox 35. Let's chat with civil rights attorney Larry Walters about what he thinks about this universal ID proposal. I think I can guess. Um, sure going to make my wallet thinner, Larry, but what happens if I don't drive? Do I still get to vote? And if I got to pay for a card that lets me vote? Man, I thought voting was free. Am I wrong? You are not wrong. We are guaranteed the right to vote for free. Anything else would be considered a poll tax, yeah. and that would be unconstitutional. So that's an easy one. That's that's a clear problem with this kind of universal ID concept. But you know, I'm also not too thrilled about lumping all of my information legs in, in one basket. Uh, some of that information that they're talking about putting on there, you can get that legally, can't you? Well, you sure can. And as we saw with what the state of Florida did with our driver's license information last time, they sold it all to a marketing company and made millions of dollars on it. What's to say that they won't do the same kind of thing? Thing, whether accidentally or not with this and here we have all this information combined into one place it just makes it more and more attractive for theft and uh, identity fraud you know they say road to hell is paved with good intentions is is this an example of that we're, we're gonna save you some money it'll just cost you some of your civil liberties yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting way to put it. You know, unfortunately, there are possibly good things that could come of this, but outweighed by the bad, I would say this is not a good idea. You know, other states have looked at it. I think Texas looked at it as well. Do, do you see this happening or you know, it's way down the road, even if it does happen, but do you see even, even happening? You know, I think that things are going to change in terms of how identification is produced. It will have to. Um, it, it'll more likely be some kind of encoded message that will come from your smartphone device as opposed to a card anyway. So, yeah, the, the whole concept of producing an ID is going to change, but we're a little ways away from a universal ID card. And then that feels a little too much like a country like China where, you know, yeah. you have your papers or not, and that's a little concerning. We need to see your papers. All right, Larry Walters. Larry, good to talk to you. You too.